there is no effect because it's the lowest level of granulate. Right, right. If we keep your department now, the comparison is going to be good because I can department level sales can be compared with category level sales. And category level sales right. can be compared with item level sales, averages. Right. Got it. Yep. Yeah. So fixed item is really pointless. Yeah. See, see that your voice is very low. Uh, I'm not able to. It's not audible. Yeah. Uh, okay. Am I audible uh, now? Yeah. Ready? Now it's fine. Yes. Uh, like in one situation, uh, you wrote a uh, fixed uh, LOD where you wrote uh, department and category both at the same time. True. Right. So. Uh, writing department and category uh, using uh, you know separated by a comma uh, will that be different uh, from writing only category like if i write to uh, lod one says fixed with category hmm. and other with fixed with department comma category will the dif uh, will the effects will be different yeah that obviously see this fix works at two levels one is department level, another one is category level. It fixed to and two and levels. Uh, like, uh, and uh, can you write one more fix LODs with only categories? I want to see the difference between fixed department, comma categories, and fixed categories. Yeah, sure. How they are different. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. So you can get the clarity. Yeah, see here. So department will work obviously because we implemented second level of granularity here it is also works but item it won't work it takes the categories revenues right got it so when you are using category you need not to mention about the department basically correct fix. you got it right if i mention item you need not to you know so mention specifically about category and department again. So if you use lowest level of you know, granularity, you need not to mention here, say example, I took as a restaurant, zip code is the lowest level of you know, granularity from country, state, and this, uh, uh, district, and then zip code. So if you use zip code here in the fixed, you need not to consider about all the top level you know, hierarchy values. So it won't make any uh, difference if I write six department then uh, comma categories, right? Yeah. This category. You, this you need to understand one thing here. So if I take the real time scenarios, few more real time scenarios, you'll get to understand. The thing is, if you take here the category, see that here we got the category, right? Right. Item level also you are getting same category revenues. Correct. So. In, in coming sessions, we will see how we can compare these item revenues, uh, category revenues with item. Okay. Comparing my bookcases, what is the percentage of revenue one item is generating? Okay. So got it. Right. So that's where we can use this fixed. So if you see... Uh, question, yeah. Uh, sorry, ready? My question is, uh, you told me that uh, we can write uh, other dimensions in the formula with the comma separated, right? For example, fixed department, comma, category. How mm -hmm. that is different from like uh, this, this particular LOD that you have shown right now. How this particular expression is different from if I write fixed department, comma, category, column, some sales. Okay. So that's what I'm saying here. If you use here lowest level of granularity, got it, item, it works for category department. So we can straight away use the department and sales. You need not to write any fixed real body. Got it. If you fix something to some specific dimension here, that highest level of granularity, then it will carry forward the revenues of this department across the all the granularity so that the comparison is going to be easy 
comparing with overall department sales with category overall department sales with item level and there is no i uh, mean so uh, um if you can ask something like uh, let's say example so in yep so mr in in this calculation what if you put in front of department or in front of category, what if you put department and then a comma? What what happens? Here. And leave category. It, right after fixed. Yeah. Fixed department comma category. Yeah, that's uh, we just checked that. So if you click on OK, at department level, you will get the exact sales of each and every department because we fixed the sales to the department. Then category yep. also, you will get the exact sales because we fixed category. But coming yep. to the item, you will get the category sales in the item. Respective category so for sales. This, before this, we don't necessarily need to put department comma category. You can achieve the same thing with just using category right yes we, we need not to mention that but in case if you want to use other dimensions so let's try like you know you will get more understanding for a, for example i can write the reason here it's 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 not part of the hierarchy right reason is not there in the part of hierarchy right so it's the same now it's got let's take the region you will you will get actually now the point I'm taking here the region let's take another sheet where I would like to have a sales on column shelf and the region then next is department let's turn on the labels here we got eight hundred fifty nine thousand dollars in the central, it's eight hundred fifty-nine thousand dollars. Got it. Since it's fixed to region, now I went to the department. See here, at the department level, I got eight hundred fifty-nine. At the sales, eight hundred fifty-nine. It's similar. But when I went to next further, here we got different sales. Here we got 117. Here also we got 117. And next mm -hmm. further, here we got 117. L word okay. fixed. 117. Got, got it. But here if you go, you will be having exact item level information. Item level sale. So that comma so, is so really the demo is used for item outside. Yes. Using the comma is we can not only use the hierarchy, you know, uh, dimensions, we can get state and city and any of these dimensions. So one thing you need to uh, uh, remember is these fixed is stopped at category. It never go further because we stopped this using this fix. We stopped this granularity at category level. Though you extend, it never go further. You never get the item level information. You'll get the for each item category level sales. So th that's that's why we call it fixed. Gotcha. Fixing the cat uh, higher, uh, the granularity at one point, so it never go beyond that. Got it. Got it. Okay. Gotcha. So I'm doing a lot of research on LVD since it just came three months back. So earlier we were you we were using table calculations to solve these kind of problems. 
i think we get lot of you know uh, uh, maturity in coming 6 months uh, uh, on this uh, lvd concepts so i'm also doing lot of uh, r and d behind this lvd and all so this is the latest you uh, know uh, topics that i'm sharing with jll uh, with mr siddharth and uh, gautam samuel great this is uh, very they... very very informative uh already there is one more question like Please. as you have mentioned uh, the include uh, lod so i am still confused how include lod are different from my normal uh, things like uh, what make uh, like uh, i am using uh, include lod what what the purpose of using include lod because uh, when i can reach to the item uh, level okay. No? sorry uh, interrupting siddharth ji uh, i'll tell you the difference no uh, the first scenario the first session just understand the actual difference between fix include and exclude fixed is something we can fix granulate at one level include it gives us freedom it will go up to any lowest granulate got it exclude is it exclude given dimension it works for every every other dimension other than the given dimension so just keep understanding at this level so going forward you will come to know more you know uh, 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 surprising things uh, how we can use include on different calculations how we can use the uh, mix of include and fix and exclude in a single calculated field so we will see those uh, those kind of scenarios so yeah these are a bit confused Uh, stuff lod it's even those calculations won't work if you use different uh, uh, filters measure level filters and period calculations sometimes so i i would recommend you first fix to only fixed and go with fixed how it is working and then next once we take the scenarios of include you'll get more understanding about include i'm going to be covering for fix include and exclude around for each around the five scenarios and com with combinations around 10 scenarios fixed include and exclude so that you'll get lot of knowledge about this um, lvd as of now i can i i could say stick to only fixed so don't get all include and exclude because a little bit confused so you'll get confused and you will forget you know how this fix work so i would recommend you first stick to only fix so if you if you done with fix then we can jump to the include got it okay sure yeah that's yeah. my uh, thing yeah cool okay guys then uh, any more queries no not from my side i need to go much deeper into that again okay i really like the cohort analysis and the use of lod for the cohort analysis yeah so we use two scenarios for fix as of now one is cohort analysis